Black holes, some of the most fascinating and mysterious object in the universe, it is incredibly dense, which causes it to have a strong gravitational pull that not even light cannot escape. If a black hole absorbs everything that enters it, then what exists inside the black hole? Before getting into the topic, we must know about what are black holes and how they are formed. Black holes are the darkest objects in the universe, where gravity is so intense that it can pull stars, planets, and even light into it, and preventing them from escaping. This extreme gravitational pull is the result of matter being compressed into a minuscule space from which nothing can return. How black holes are formed. Black holes can be formed in a number of ways. It always depends upon which type of black hole it is. Most black holes form from the remnants of a large star that dies in a supernova explosion. A collection of massive hydrogen atoms is what makes a star. In their core, hydrogen atoms fuse into helium, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. The liberated energy, in the form of radiation, pushes against gravity and maintains a delicate balance between the two forces. A star is stable enough as long as there is fusion in the core. In stars, much more massive than the Sun, the heat and pressure at the core allow them to fuse into heavier elements until they form iron. Iron builds up in the center of the core until it reaches a certain critical point, and suddenly, the balance between radiation and gravity is broken. This results in the core collapsing and imploding into itself. Moving at about a quarter of the speed of light, it feeds even more mass into the core. It is at this very moment that all the heavier elements in the universe are formed. As the stars die in a supernova explosion, they either turn into a neutron star or a black hole depending on the mass of the star. The most commonly known way a black hole forms is by stellar death. Some black holes can be formed directly from very big stars, more than 25 to hundreds of times bigger than our sun, when these stars collapse at the end of their lives. In 1916, Albert Einstein first predicted the existence of black holes with his general theory of relativity. Black holes are proved based on observations in Greenwich and Toronto in the early 1970s. Cygnus X1, a galactic X-ray source discovered in 1964, became the first astronomical object commonly accepted to be a black hole. The first photo ever taken of a black hole was taken by Event Horizon Telescope in April 10, 2019. This black hole is located at the center of the galaxy M87. There is a supermassive black hole is located at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, named Sagittarius A. Black holes have two parts, the event horizon and the singularity. Event horizon. Think of this as an invisible boundary around a black hole. If you get too close to it, it's like a trap. You can't escape. Not even light can get out once it crosses this boundary. It's like a point of no return. Singularity. Imagine squishing everything in the universe into a tiny, infinitely small and incredibly heavy point. That's what's at the very center of a black hole. It's so strange that our usual laws of physics can't describe what happens there. It's like a mystery at the heart of the black hole. So when we talk about a black hole, we have this invisible boundary, event horizon, and a weird, super dense point, singularity, hiding inside. Anything that goes past the event horizon gets sucked toward the singularity, and what happens there is still a big puzzle for scientists. If you get a chance to fall into the black hole, what would you do? Give me your thoughts below in the comments. Let's imagine a scenario where I'm falling into a black hole equipped with a powerful spacesuit and a cell phone capable of sending SMS messages to describe what's inside the black hole. As I begin my descent into the black hole and observe its interior, I'm aware that once I've crossed the event horizon, the point of no return, there's no way back. Despite my desire to communicate with you using the cell phone, there's a significant challenge. Radio waves, which are used for sending SMS messages, can only travel at the speed of light. However, within the black hole, 
the gravitational forces are so incredibly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Therefore, any attempt to send an SMS would be futile, as the messages cannot overcome the black hole's powerful gravitational pull. In essence, even though I may witness something extraordinary inside the black hole, I won't be able to convey its appearance to you. Once I've entered, there's no return, and communication is impossible due to the overwhelming gravitational forces. It's a one-way journey into the enigmatic heart of a black hole. But the general theory of relativity says that if you traveled into the black hole, it tells us that an entire space-time was born in front of you, as the future history of the universe is left behind you. Who knows, maybe there will be new universe B exists on the other side of the black hole. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Join us on this epic odyssey through the cosmos, 